Hi lovelies, welcome back and today I'm just going to do a quick design change for you guys. These nails have been on for about a week and some, almost two weeks, but as I don't have that much new growth and I am just sick and tired of seeing my nails the same way, I'm just going to change the design and then I'll give it another week until I fill. So real quick, this is just a quick update on the Die Hard Nails color changing gel polish that I had on and this is in the color sun glow as you can see it hasn't chipped it's still in really good condition still nice and shiny and that is with their gel top coat so I just wanted to do a quick update before I remove my design okay so let's go in now and remove this old design and to do this today I'm just using my two-week backfill carbide gel bit from tudacusa.com it is not a safety bit so if it is you do own one or you looking to purchase one I would leave my link in the description box below and the review that I did for this particular drill bit so you guys can check it out before purchasing. As I said before, it is not a safety bit, so if you're using it and you're going around that cuticle area, please be careful. I'm also using it to blend that acrylic into my natural nail plate. Now I'm not touching the natural nail plate with this drill bit at all. I'm also not leaving it in one position to create any heat or any burn lines on my natural nail plate below the acrylic. So I'm keeping it moving in one direction. Sometimes I may see so on myself just because I get frustrated of filing down my gel polishes. But anyway, after doing this, I'm going to spray with my alcohol and brush all of those dust particles away from my cuticle area because remember, you do still have that new growth there. And after doing this, I did apply a thin layer of primer to my natural nail plate, but I did that off camera. Okay guys, so for this design today as my base coat, I'm using this peel off base coat from Madame Glam. And as you can see, it is a 10 ml bottle and the bottle is just like their matte top coat, the gel top coat. This however, is not a gel polish. Okay guys, it is a regular nail polish. So there are some directions on the back of the bottle and it just says apply as a base to your regular UV LED gel polishes or your glitter polishes. So I'm going to be testing this baby out today and I'm just going to apply it and allow it to completely dry because my concern with this being a regular polish is that I'm going to put gel on top of it and you know when you put gel on top of regular polish and it's not dry completely what is going to happen. So I'm putting a generous coat on. It's not that thin, but it's not too thick that it will take forever to dry. So I'm just going to allow this to dry and I'll meet you back. So now my base coat is completely dried. I'm going in with the neon lime green from Madame Glam. And if it is you guys saw my previous swatch video, you would have already seen these colors. And if you're following me on Instagram, you would already know this design. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I would put my Instagram name right here on the screen for you guys to go across and follow. So I'm just placing random dots of Screaming Summer and pajama party throughout the nail now this is a generous amount of gel polish okay and now with my dotting tool and i'm just using the other end of my cleanup brush i'm going to swirl and marble these colors and try to do a no water marble effect with these gel polishes now one thing i did that i didn't do on camera which i probably should have done and i apologize for that is pull the excess of the gel polish off i didn't do it when i did it on my nail pop and the gel did not cure right through because it was so thick so I would suggest you removing any excess before popping your hand into your LED or UV light whichever one you're using so I just did this on two nails I did it one for you guys to see and one off camera and then on my other nails I went ahead and just polished them with that beautiful pajama party oh my god that color is to die for Alright, so I did two coats of this and then I topped it off with my Madame Glam No Wipe Gel Top Coat. And it's the first time that I use this top coat and it is, woo, <laughs> it is my favorite. 
I love the fact that I don't have to cleanse and, and all that drama and all that jazz. It is just amazing. It's shiny. When I'm doing Clyde's nails and I accidentally file and I wipe, it's still shiny. Like, it's just unbelievable. As you can see that shine right there. I'll have some pictures for you guys at the end of the video. And I'll also do a follow-up on how long the peel-off base would last. So as always, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and thumbs it up. Tell me what you think about my first attempt at my no water water bumbling with my gel polishes. As always, I'd love for you to keep safe and I'll see you soon.